Welcome back to the Afia Morning Show and Afia Television, channel 254 DSTV, 17 Go TV. Namdi Obaya still here, Natalie Uku still here. And joining us now, Dame Ugochi Madweke, the Honorable Commissioner for Culture and Tourism. And I mean, in the spirit of development and reconstruction in Enugu, we are continuing with the International Conference Center and Hotel Presidential Reconstruction Renovation um, since we started. Um, it, it's been a lot of responses, and so we have to have the main person involved. And of course, who better than the commissioner? Good morning, good to good have morning. you. Good morning. So good let, morning. Let, let me start from here because this is what the older people are asking us: When is Prince Don? That's yeah. Prince Don coming back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Oh, Prince Don. Prince Don. When Prince Don? The Prince Don. Prince Don be pie. Prince Don. That's all we hear about from you know the the older ones. So, I mean, we are not hearing. A lot of um, there's been no real controversy about the International Conference Center. It seems as if everything is smooth sailing there, with regards to the renovation and reconstruction. Because we've not heard anybody. So which, which one do you want first? I'll start with the, the ICC. Dawn or the ICC. <laughs> we'll start with the ICC because it seems very peaceful there. We've not heard any noise. Okay. Um, it's very peaceful. No controversies. But the thing is that people are not informed actually. People don't believe there's anything going on in the International Conference Center. And I want to inform them that a lot is going on. Is the place is actually like more than 70% completed. Oh, wow. Yes. Your people were there now. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you have video clips of the work going on there. So, I mean, how, so how, how long should we be expecting before it comes fully online? Let me say before, let me, let me just say before the last quarter of the year. So before, before this year's roadblock. <laughs> before the, <laughs> before the roadblock. <laughs> okay, so then let's come to hotel presidential because mm -hmm. it seems as if that's where there are as many questions as there are construct, contractors as there are building materials. And we know the Enugu State Government has given a new contractor to work. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there are some people who say they are still working on it Working on what? That they're supposed to be still be the legal people working on the hotel. Is this affecting the people from working? I mean, because I know that in Nigeria we've seen many projects stall because of this court order. So, is there any legal action preventing work from going on now? No. No, we are working. So right now, work is fully underway. Go there now. Okay. So I mean, I did. What? I do. I, yeah. I I did go there. I'll be honest. I did mm -hmm. go there last night, and I saw the the construction lights, but. I couldn't, I don't, I don't want to say anything before I'm accused of trespassing, but I did. No, <laughs> work is ongoing. I didn't go there. Yeah. All right. So in terms of the Supreme Court, the case still been at the Supreme the Court. Court. Yeah. How, how is the construction going on despite? Okay. The, the matter in Supreme Court mm -hmm. is not about ownership. It's damages. Okay. The guy is, is seeking for compensation. Mm. You cannot, because you want me to compensate you then you tell me not to do my work, not to improve on my project. There are two different things. Ownership is not in question. What is in question is damages. Damage, okay. He has sued for damages. And then we are waiting. Mm -hmm. We've won him at the High Court. We also won him at the Court of Appeal. And by the grace of God, we are praying that the Supreme Court will uphold the decision of the a court of appeal and the and the and the high court. All right. The, the, the caveat. The caveat stated otherwise. The caveat stated that the government should not or nobody should go into any dealings with the state government concerning the Enugu Presidential Hotel. So that also does he is, is he the owner? He also. If you, you are him not, no, you can't give what you don't have. Right. You cannot give what you don't have. I cannot come to Afia TV now and then put up a caveat when I am not the owner. Ownership. Enugu State owns Presidential Hotel. And then if you, have, if you have sued me because you feel that one way or the other something went wrong somewhere, fine, no problem. But you don't have the power, you don't have the right to take the ownership from me. And since ownership is not in question, I continue with whatever I am doing. And then as we wait, for the outcome of, of, of the court case. Mm -hmm. If the, at the end of the day, the court will never award the ownership of presidential hotel to you. What the court will do will maybe say, okay, pay him uh, yes, damages. We'll pay you damages. So you cannot keep us bound for how many years now 
and we've been on one matter no now a long time no. yes a lot of people have spoken on it uh senator ken namani said that what has happened in the last all these years and now you want the government to wait so there are a lot of people We've that waited are for backing too long. this construction i mean everybody wants change right but what barista Sike was asking for and is still asking for is his money the money that he invested so we have been trying to where did facts. he invest that money um yes hydrological the, reports integrity, integrity tests. structural integrity tests uh, feasibility reports to meet up with the standard of the international partner he was bringing. Mm -hmm. And I That's think he right. even mentioned that if he's paid the money he spent, all the material he acquired, mm -hmm. he's going to hand over to the and people have So where are the materials? Uh, uh, that I, I don't. Look, we should actually be the ones suing him, asking for the materials. Well, he said he used his money to, to engage the, con the consultant mm -hmm. that did all those tests. Yes. Now, he stripped off, they stripped off the hotel. They stripped everything. Do you understand? Yeah. Where are the doors? Where are the windows? He, he Where said, are the iron bars? They said the strip so again, he, he presented documentation uh -huh. of him presenting it to the Enugu State government and them signing off that they were in possession. And I think they mentioned the Enugu State government auctioned it off and he was not involved. He said he has documentation that he handed it over to so Enugu State government. government. Yes. And they auctioned it off. I'm, I mean... My hmm. brother, my own stand as the Honorable Commissioner for Culture and Tourism is this ownership he has sued for damages let the, the, the supreme court take their decision mm -hmm. he will be paid his damages if they say we should pay him i mean you can nobody's uh, above the law yeah. okay but he cannot continue to stop enugu state from growing enugu state holds presidential hotel at heart every enugu indigen or in fact every Igbo man every Igbo man loves presidential hotel go to port yes, their yes. own is flourishing and then we've been on this matter since 2013 mm. Mm -hmm. over 10 years mm. do you know what the state has lost even him you know what he too he has lost so we cannot continue on this we'll continue with our development and construction and revamping the hotel and as we await the the the, the decision of the courts how much is he asking well, he has not even come up to say, I don't know how much he's asking. Are any negotiations ongoing? Well, not between us. Okay. Is, now, is the government willing to have an out of court agreement team? Was that ever on the no, table? Yes, I think there was a time that he was discussing that with the uh, But the thing is this it depends on how much he's asking for. You cannot be greedy, greedy about it. How it much is the government offering? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. If he's willing, if he's ready, then let let he, he can discuss that with the with the with the people. But yeah. as, at this point, after all the caveats he has put up, I think the best thing for the two parties involved is for us to wait for the outcome of the court. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, re regardless of the outcome, is there any possibility that there will still be any engagements between the government and his company, um, being that they have some experience? at the hotel no 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 i don't i don't you know, i don't think uh, we are still on that uh, level all right I don't. so how long before we see presidential hotel come back online by the special grace of god we it should be able to happen before before end of uh, 12 months Oh, before I end mean, of 12 months. Yes. 12 months. Oh. That's 12 months for presidential, 12 months for the terminals. Modern, terminals. I mean, we want to see change. We yeah. want to see development. But it's always... Presidential it will not be up to 12 months, but okay. I just said... Okay, so it might even it come, will come before 12 months. That's fantastic. Months. That's Ooh. fantastic. So let's take it back to the ICC. I mean, yeah. we can't ignore the fact that there are some people who have come out and said that the state government came out and demolished their properties mm -hmm. using okay. torchlights at night. And around the ICC. Around the ICC. Not properties the ICC, that yeah. Around the ICC. No, this was adjacent to the, the ICC, ICC wall. So not mm -hmm. within the ICC, mm -hmm. but... Who, who erected adjacent. the wall? Yeah, exactly. So we need... Who erected the wall? That. I'm asking you. Who erected the wall? Yes. That should have been the administration of the person that developed the ICC. That should be Chimara Okay. Who oh, no. is, because we need clarification <laughs> from you. Maybe, I mean, whoever was developing the land would erect the whoever wall. Whoever that was developing the land. the land. So you're saying the, that they developed, they constructed the wall themselves. Who, whoever did that must have erected the, the wall. The question is, who erected the wall? Was it the state government? That's number one question. Number two question, why did it take you so long? 
from 2013 to 2024. Why haven't you finished the house? If I remember vividly, even the last administration sealed that property. You cannot have a property inside the International Conference Center. Let me get something straight. Are you saying that these developers, the former commissioner, among other people, because it's not just him, that they are the ones who constructed the wall and not the administration? I the just conference? asked a question. And my question is, who erected the wall? Well, I mean, some of the claims that are delayed. Wait, 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 because uh, 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 Sullivan's administration did not make, they didn't do, they didn't touch the International Conference Center at all. There was no form of development. Am I making sense? The government, the administration of uh, uh, His Excellency Sullivan Chime, they didn't do any development at all in terms of touching the International oh, Conference gosh. Center. So the question is, who erected the, the, the wall? Why would the former governor, yeah. Sullivan Chime, give this land to these people if they are now being referred to as illegal structures? They are in a better position to answer your question. But I mean, as government is a continuum, if the government of Sullivan Chime allocated the land to these mm -hmm. people, is it not still the same Enugu State government, even if it's different people now? You said something. Why would the government come up to say it is illegal structure? Yes. Okay. If the government says it's illegal structure, then it is illegal structure. But what don't they have documentation for the allocation of the land? No. Another question is this. The people involved, what were their positions? Their positions. These yes. Are, some of them are actually former officials of the government. Former like the commissioner former of culture, culture and tourism. Former commissioner of culture, culture and tourism. So you were part and parcel of that administration. You were mm -hmm. an integral part of the administration. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You, you people didn't develop the structure, the International Conference Center. Eh? But you awarded land from the International Conference Center. Now, even if, assuming that, okay, all these things are sorry, 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 what about public interest? If at the end of the day, the public interest takes its position. Well, I mean, I know the argument is that it's illegal, but is there going to be any compensation for people who... I am not in a position mm. to say that. Mm. Speaking about the Ingo pres uh, Hotel Presidential, can we also know about the contractors handling the project? Which of, because we've not really gotten clarification well, on which contractor just, exactly. Uh, we understand that Prime View was on it and then it ended in a legal tussle that's still in the Supreme Court. So which contractor is handling it currently? You want to know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's um, um, uh, Del Ward. Yes, Del Ward. Del Ward. Yeah. Just a minute, I want to be sure. I think it's Del Ward. All right. Just a second. All right. Yeah. So I confirm. But I think it's Del Ward. I think it's Del And they have started work already. Yes. You said you were there. I mean, you yes. them. We no, what I mean is, you know, a lot of people have started work. Prime you did complete professional stripping. And at that point in time, one would have thought the project would. I, I my, my worry is that you know, we don't. We're not sitting down on set many years later, you know, talking about um, the project not being completed mm. because it, it seems as if majority of the work this administration is doing mm -hmm. is completing abandoned. Abandoned, abandoned projects, projects all yeah, over the state. The mm -hmm. plan, that's abandoned projects, yeah, and, and, and plans that have been deviated from. Mm -hmm. So is is there? I mean, at least any when I say legal, is there any legal framework to compel people? Is there any consequence for not complete? Does, does the government have a con, I say a consequence clause so that to avoid these situations repeating themselves, it won't happen that again. That people must finish the work. Is there a clause? 
that the we government... We have timeline. We have timeline. No, is there a sanction, like, if you don't meet it? Why won't you meet it? When you have a timeline? Why won't you meet it? The, uh, uh, the, the five-star hotel, we have a timeline of 12 months. The International Conference Center, I'm, I'm, I'm not even adding that one because it's almost completed. Mm -hmm. The Presidential Hotel is less than 12 months, but we're even saying, okay, 12 months. All right. So Everything depends on the man at the uh, 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 helm of affairs. Yeah. So we have a talk and I do governor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're looking at Dell World Construction. I think, I think it's Dell World. All right. Dell Del York. Dell York. Del York. Not Dell York. Dell York is for the film uh, city. Yeah. Okay. It's not Dell York. Okay. This that world. film city, that's what I know. I, I think we might have to do a whole hour because there are a lot of projects that... <laughs> yeah, a lot. I mean, with the, with the Commissioner for Trade yesterday, Commissioner for, uh, Commissioner for Trade, and she mentioned a lot of the incentives being put in place, a lot of the investments being drawn to in Ugozi, a lot of the partnerships that we should expect. So I think you're right when you say we need an hour to discuss... I, 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 and, and my main reason is this. I know, I, I know that you have said that you want to contribute a large chunk Mm -hmm. Towards the IGR. I don't get choice. Uh, so, <laughs> no, but no, I mean, if, if, so if Enugu is planning to put a, a huge mm -hmm. chunk, it means that um, not only these tourist facilities, but yeah. it's going to have to take advantage of natural a lot of the natural tourism of all over the states yeah. <laughs> to mm -hmm. put in that large chunk of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it's possible. I mean, you... and without it, Enugu Air will not be really. Many, many people have not really understood the context of the legalities behind the Moribond uh, presi uh, Hotel Presidential. Now they're seeing the developments happening. That is what they want to see. We saw Mr. Chilaka here yesterday. He said that he saw con um, con construction mm -hmm. workers doing something there, and immediately we heard that he zoomed up and were able to capture that. So you can tell that if we're judging by his view, many people would be happy that construction, something is going on at Hotel Presidential. Yes, this yeah. is a story that we've been following. You know, if you put the legal tussles aside, it's great to see that the governor is actually he working really, yeah. to ensure that these infrastructure are, you know, revived and revived. I, 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 I can't wait for I can't wait for it to be finished yeah. because I've been to the one in Port Harcourt and I've seen their pool, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that when it's all is done, <laughs> because I won't have to drive all the way to Nikkei Lake. Yeah, to 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 him. Him. yeah because <laughs> lastly, I mean, that's lastly, the... just last question and very briefly, does the government have any plans to perhaps just get? these controversies sorted out especially because we're dealing with stakeholders who were there before are there plans to look into the various controversies the various complaints that have been raised by various there's countries? always negotiation so there will always be negotiation all right thank you thank you so much for being here we'll keep following this story and um we would when everything is completed I, I will need to do like an experiential tour maybe like stay one week yeah. in hotel presidential <laughs> just just to, just to check the just to check the facilities thank you so much for being here uh, i'm well. right deal what deal, deal what deal okay, what deal what all right D -I -L. Okay. deal, deal what. what nigeria limited deal what nigeria mm -hmm. limited that's the company they contract handling. handling it all right thank you so much thank, thank you so you. much for